Pacelus ille quem videtis hospites, ait fuisse nauium celerimus. Neculius natantis impetum trabis, nequisse praeterire. Si ve palmulis opus foret volare, si ve linteo. Et hoc negat minacis adriatici negare litus, insulas ve cycladas. Rodunque nobil, oridanque tracia propontida. Trucem ve ponti cum sinum. Obiste post passerus ante a fuit comata silva. Nan citorien jugo loquente saipe sibil veditit coma. Amastri ponti cet citore buxifer tibi haec fuis et esse cognitissima ait passerus. Ultim ex origine Tu ostetisse dicit in cacumine. Tu imbuisse palmula sin aequore. Et inde tot per impotentia freta erum tulisse. Laiua si ad extra vocaret aura. Si utrunque Jupiter simul secundus in chi disset in peden. Necula vota litoralibus deis sebiesse facta, conveniret a mare novissi munca ad usque limpidum lacum. Sed haec prius fuere. Nunc recondita senet quiete, seque dedicat tibi gemele castor et gemele Castoris. That little ship you see, my friends, Bacellus, claims he was once the swiftest of ships. Nor was he unable to overtake the advance of any vessel afloat, whether there was need to fly with oars or by sail. And he denies the shore of the menacing Adriatic would deny this claim, nor the Cycladic Isles, nor noble roads, nor the wild Thracian Sea of Marmara, nor the cruel bosom of the Black Sea, where he, later, Pacellus, formerly was a long-haired forest, for on the ridge of Mount Citorus he often gave out a hissing sound from his loquacious leaves. A mastress of the Black Sea and boxwood bearing Mount Citorus, Pacellus claims these things were and are very well known to you. From his earliest origin he says he stood on your summit, dipped his palms in your placid waters. And from there, through so many wild and narrow seas, he carried his master. Whether wind from the left or the right would summon him, whether Jupiter would bring down a following gust at once upon either foot of the sail, nor were any vows ever made to the gods of the shore on his behalf. When he came from the most recent sea, all the way to this limpid lake. But these things were long ago. Now he grows old, quiet and hidden away, and dedicates himself to you, twin caster, and to you, Caster's twin. <laughs>